as no coders and product people to be the best tools on the market. Awesome. So we've got a website in five minutes. No way. I would not even say beginner. You can run an entire business using. It. Awesome. An entire business using this pack. So it's safe to say that you've gone through every no code and low code app, and this is the best pack to start. With. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Builder Central, your home of no code, low code. If you're new to this channel, then please make sure you subscribe. Today we have a very special guest joining us and she's an expert in no code and product design as well. Uh, you might remember her from our Change My Mind video. After that video, we reached out to her and she was more than happy to be a part of this one. Okay, her skills are absolutely top notch. She's worked in big names like Amazon, Vodafone, Philips and over 20 Fortune 500 companies. So without further ado, hi Madhuri and thank you for being a part of this conversation. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely uh, really nice of you to invite me back onto the channel. Awesome. All right. Um, so getting to what we want to actually do in this session. One of the most important things on this internet is figuring out. So there are multiple tools. What do I mean by multiple tools? Let me actually show you no code tools. So this is the curated no code landscape. We have updated it for 2024, where uh, you can see a bunch of website tools that are opening up. And beyond this, there are multiple tools. Please explore choose what is right for you. But we have found this as designers, as no coders and product people to be the best tools on the market, to be quick, ease of use, well-designed, good support, great pricing. And even if you want to extend your product into something bigger, absolutely amazing products to use, right? And they are going to exist in the market for so long. Squarespace is a publicly listed company. They own Google domains now, yeah. right? So if they're not going to go away, definitely not. Right. So Webflow is also going in the direction of IPO. There are signs, but they are heavily funded. Card is run by a solopreneur, but very invested into the whole ecosystem. Software is run by a very funded company um, from Europe. Solid. They're not going to you know, take it away. Framer, again, from Europe. Well thought through. They have been in the game for 15, 12 years, I think, almost now. They started as a design prototyping tool to now a website builder. So it's continuous iteration is what keeps them up to date in the market. So how many no-code apps have you tested and worked with? Quite a bit. Whatever you see here, I have tried. So it's safe to say that you've gone through every no-code and low-code app, and this is the best pack to start with. I would not even say beginner. You can run an entire business using it. Awesome. An entire business using this pack. That's awesome. Like you can just pick one, 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 and you can close it. Shift to the building. I want to show some examples of websites that have been built in each of them. Uh, simple website. You can uh, quickly go there and sign up. There's a free account. Let me show you the pricing. Um, you can see that it's $9. You can start your first website. Three websites you can publish. Or $10, you can use your custom domain, which is, let's say, Nit dot com can be added and you can build websites up to 10 websites per year 19 dollars 10 websites per year great deal amazing deal right so and then if you want to see the kind of websites you can build so this is one of the websites i built i built a course on card because that was literally my first no code tool mm -hmm. and i found it super powerful and i was like okay it's time to launch a course on that mm -hmm. so i launched the course and you can see you can build an entire website. It depends on the design, but you can get things done. Yeah. Right? So you can see people's testimonials. What is it? What you should use it for? What you should not use it for? What can you build with card? You can build a membership website, a curated info website, a digital product landing page, like you know, a book page or something, a product landing page like your SaaS, not-for-profit, a course website. You can build all of this. And even if you want to accept payments as well, you can accept payments via Razorpay or Stripe. You can either make it like a page link or you can embed like buttons. You can do all of that, nice. right? There are a ton more examples. People build a lot of websites using card, SaaS websites, AI websites. People are building simple AI products using card where uh, a text box leads to another page, things like that. Are there any backend services that card provides? Like let's say you want to take inquiries or registrations. No, it's just a website builder. There's no backend, there's no blog, there's nothing. It's a simple website builder, like let's say a landing page builder with simple animations. You can do a lot of things, but if people build K-pop websites fully on card, right? So you can see how creative they are with the K-pop layouts and things like that. So you can do those to keep it 
uh, you know, active and simple. People use free, free thing to do that. So if you are a student, you can't spend so much, use card to build your portfolio website, put your resume out there. People can download it. People can do all of it. It's an excellent tool to get started. Fair? Yeah. All good with card. Awesome. Okay. Let's close this. Let's go to the second example, which is uh, softer. So I'm going to open softer. Softer is a app builder, honestly, it's nothing to do with websites, but you can use this to build portals and internal tools. And you can also make the front page, which is the website page. Of you can go ahead and create kind client portals, hubs, like something like a login based thing. You can do that. Uh, so if you have a payment and a login or something like that, you can use this to build it. So software decent builder can do better in terms of design, not my topic because I'm a designer. So that is something I, I want to uh, say that use this, uh, but it can get pretty pricey and expensive. So I'm currently on the free plan. Um, so you can actually see that they have this $49 per month works for like customers who are willing to pay like for you earn, like say $10,000 per month, you can easily host like this and works out for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, use this fairly, unless if you're testing, go ahead, use the uh, free thing to get started. All right, so I hope this makes sense with software. There are a lot of templates you can use out of the box. Like, let's say you have a dashboard related thing. You can get the SAS dashboard, a KPIs. You can connect your own databases. Like if you have like somewhere sitting in Google Sheets or any Airtable or anything else, you can use the API as well on the paid plan and pull the data and display it for your customers if needed, right? So, very robust, but uh, pretty decent in terms of a, a website builder as well. Now let's actually look at uh, Webflow. Actually the most complex of all examples, because it needs you to think like a developer because Webflow is basically mimicking a developer's workflow. It needs you to think about divs. It needs you to think about wrappers. It needs you to think about all of those things before getting started. So recently we were browsing through LinkedIn and we found that there are people hiring Webflow developers. Okay. So there are companies which are actually paying hefty amounts to hire really good no code Webflow developers. Yes. So we, we built the website for Plum as well. So, um, they basically, uh, wanted to set up multiple uh, template based pages and components so that they can scale further. Plum is hiring for a Webflow developer as well. Yeah. So they are basically helping people, uh, access information quickly in the marketing team. They are not wasting uh, developers time in getting started or doing a lot of things. I still feel Webflow is more advanced compared to other tools like Framer. Uh, if you want like a lot of uh, dev heavy or API and all of those things, not that you can't do it in other tools. It's just that Webflow is more friendly for devs, which the next example that I want to talk about is obviously uh, Squarespace. You've seen Squarespace around. It's been on the internet for almost 10 to 15 years. Uh, they have built a huge empire in terms of, uh, tools, Squarespace is well-designed as well. They have multiple products. You can go through websites for portfolios. They have an entire website dedicated to templates. So you can take a look at the templates. You can see this. There are some sample color presets. You can customize it like this. You can just start with the design, right? So good templates very well designed uh, robust integrations as well but quite pricey in terms of getting your whole thing out yeah. so when you look at the pricing you can't even see the pricing that means that it's more pricey so uh, it's currently at 16 dollars per month very similar to webflow in terms of pricing uh, but it's not offering the similar features that webflow is offering uh, in fact if you actually see uh, there are we don't have clarity on what how many pages how many uh, uh cms none of those information is very clear for us in this thing uh there might be if we do a little bit of digging but this is quite pricey for the indian context 
in terms of uh, getting your website up and running. All right, so final thing I want to talk about is Framer. Uh, you can figure out how to log in and do all that. But when you actually come into Framer, you will be presented with this empty blank screen. Yeah. The left side is all the pages, layers, assets, styles, all of that. And then on the top, you have the publish, the invite. If you want to invite somebody to collaborate with you or you want to have any settings for this website, you can do all that. Yeah. So for this, I'm going to search for AI. I'm going to say generate page here. And here I can actually write a prompt very similar to how you are doing prompting in mid journey or anything like that. Yeah. So I'm going to say, uh, okay, let's say start. It will generate the page and do it in desktop, tablet, and mobile. So you can see all three things. It will give you all the color palettes here. What I said, light mode hasn't been generated yet. Yeah. So let's see what it is going to say. So you can see the brown shades opening up, yeah. clear highlights and connect now, which is clearly giving like a overall thing. Yeah. Right. So, and it has even given me like a free AI domain, which I can just say Akash dev or something. I say publish. So the website is live actually. Oh, so you just you click this. You can actually uh, open this link. You can see the website is live. Yeah, nice. Okay. So now that a palette has been given as this, I'm not really a fan of the palette. So we're going to click on the primary and we're going to select something more lighter. Let's say something like this. And we're going to choose a more geometric kind of typeface. This shows like a display type, something like this, and a text font, which is similar. Yeah. And then we're going to regenerate it. So you can choose how you want the colors and all of that choose how you want the layout to be done. Uh, you can change the colors. Let's say you're not liking this uh, color that was thrown at you. Uh, let it finish generating and you can then go ahead and update that. Are these websites responsive? Yes, completely responsive. You can see that's also done. Tablet and phone is also done. So you can actually go ahead and uh, once it's finished generating, we can then go ahead, hit publish. So I'm going to say update. Now you can go back here. Say open again. So you can see. Wait, wait, wait. So this website's live. Just like that. The link is live actually. You can also open it on your end. Oh. All right. So yeah, it's live. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we've got a website in five minutes. No way. It's completely responsive as well. Amazing. Yeah. So here, you, if you don't like this color, you can then go ahead and say, I don't like this fill. I just want to probably keep it to like a uh, something like this You can do that. Uh, here, you can also give a background color here. Hero, if you want to change this from something like this to something lighter, if you want. If you know, if you want to make all those changes. Uh, can I remove this fill? I can make a color here. Something like this. So anything you make in the primary will reflect in the others as well. All right. So here I'm going to change the shape color. Something like this. There you can. Here I don't want to keep this. So I can do this. So we can hide this here. And here also we can hide this. So only on the mobile, it will look like this. Only on the desktop, it will look like this. Yes, all this is done. Now you like this connect now. Let's say you like this color. Let's copy this. 
uh, you like this button color to change, you can say send email. So here you have the color. For this primary button, let's give us this color. And for this, let's actually remove the this thing, right? So, and give this as this color. So, so now if you want to make this button a link, press on this. Let's say you'll connect this to LinkedIn. Done. This will work as a link. You can open this. Now let's say we open this. The website is updated. You can see this. I need to check out how fast these changes reflect on production. Let's see. Okay. Book a call. And it opens up LinkedIn. Okay, it works perfectly. Awesome. In, in case you don't like this whole thing as well, you can just delete. That's it. Done. Here also it will just update. You have to make sure you're working in the primary. And from here you can just say, oh gosh. Okay. So here you just hit publish. Done. Make sense, everyone? Because we are in India, we have parity pricing. So this, I don't know why it's not loading. Yeah, here it is. Uh, if you want a basic website free, you can zero or, or you can just pay 540 ru 44 rupees per month or, you know, 544 to 12, 6,528 rupees. Yeah. And you can see how much it can come. You will get probably, look at the number of pages, 150 pages, excluding CMS. I hope this helps you getting up your first website out. This is the fastest way you can get your website out into the internet. Now go into the settings, click on domains, remove this and publish your own domain. Once you have a paid plan, you can do that. Super easy. Yeah. All right, Madhuri, thank you so much for being a part of this call. I know it mustn't have been easy trying to make time for this, but we appreciate you so much and we can't wait for the next one. So there you have it, guys. That's how you can create a website using Framer.ai in a matter of minutes. Check out the platform and tools available in the deck and let us know what you think about them. And if you want to watch an Airtable tutorial with a real-life case scenario, then just click up here or here, wherever the editor decides to put it. And remember, hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell icon so that you don't miss another update from Builder Central.